News 4 continues our Black History Month series. St. Louis's love of baseball didn't begin with just the Cardinals. Decades ago, the city also had a Negro League team. News 4's Maurice Drummond takes us back in time for a closer look at one of St. Louis's earliest championship teams and its impact on future generations. St. Louis's rich history as a baseball town has long been recognized across the sports world, but one of the city's best teams may not be well known to many. The St. Louis Stars began originally as the St. Louis Giants and played from 1906 to 1931. The Stars played independently before joining the Negro National League in 1920. The love of baseball was just not a white community thing. It was black community, white community. St. Louis had this underlying history of African-American baseball uh, even prior to the stars. It started, you know, as baseball swept the country and became this great entertainment ve vehicle, competitive vehicle. African-Americans were no different than whites. And so they loved the game. It was just a segregated game. Over the years, local baseball historian and author Ed Wheatley has written about a stars team that became one of the great dynasties in the history of the Negro Leagues. The Stars won three league championships in four years, from 1928 to 1931. The Stars were anchored by a group of five National Baseball Hall of Famers, led by the speedy, cool Papa Bell, one of the fastest men that the game has ever seen. Who were the big people that stood out in the African-American community? They were the black baseball players, you know. Cool Papa. Everybody know today knows Cool Papa. Can you imagine what a legend he was in that period? You know, he is the highest of the peak. You know, that's how a lot of them were. Now, the home of the St. Louis Stars was called Stars Park, and they played right here on these grounds from 1922 to 1931, right on the corner of Compton and Market Streets. Now, Stars Park was the first baseball stadium that was ever exclusively owned by African Americans, and the old stadium site sits right here, right on the campus of Harris-Stowe State University. In 2020, Harris-Stowe, along with the Cardinals and Cardinals Care, broke ground on a $1.2 million renovation project for Stars Park to rebuild the baseball field and add a softball field for the women's program. It means a lot. You know, I, I was able to play baseball out there on that same field, and uh, now that I'm coaching women's softball, and to know that basically, yeah, you are playing on holy ground where legends like Cool Papa Bell actually played at. Like, those are the grounds that I stand on where legends were at. And we're talking about a stadium that used to hold 10,000 people inside of. It was like one of the biggest in the country. Like, it, it just, it brings great joy to my heart to know that here it is, I'm blessed to have that opportunity to be in the same atmosphere that where uh, the first Negro League stadium was owned by a Negro League team. Like, I'm there. I'm, I'm witnessing what greatness really was. The Cardinals' commitment to preserving this historic site, as well as dedicating a wing in the Cardinals Hall of Fame, have been among the many tributes to put a spotlight on the legacy of the St. Louis Stars. What we view as part of our responsibility as stewards of baseball here in St. Louis is to keep telling the Stars history because it is pretty fascinating. Both the Stars and the Negro National League folded in 1931, but the Stars' lasting legacy can always be found at the corner of Market Street and Compton Avenue, which was once the center of African-American life in the 1920s and 30s. I think they all had a bond even as, even probably more so than maybe players today, um, where, you know, they just, with the other players of the other teams, you know, after retirement or in the summers or whatever, they just had great friendships. And you could see why, because it was like they were all in it together. We cannot forget the stars, the Giants, Mule Subtle, Biz Mackey, Oscar Charleston, Cool Hopper Bell, Satchel Page. They were the men who made it possible for all these other men to integrate baseball and society. And, you know, they broke the barriers. Maurice Drummond, News 4.